Flyer is the only bus manufacturer in Canada that makes fuel cell buses um, as a Canadian manufacturer. Uh, we have uh, manufacturing underway right now for fuel cell buses, so it's, it's something that we're currently doing. Uh, the Qtrick program in particular will ultimately determine the number of buses, um, but we'll, you know, we'll work with whatever the parameters are. What a hydrogen fuel cell bus means is it's zero emission. In other words, there is no uh, particulate matter and there's no exhaust that comes out of the bus. What happens is electricity is created through a chemical process on board the bus, and the only thing that comes out of the tailpipe is water. For uh, about a decade or so, uh, I used to work for an automotive manufacturer, and back in the 90s, it, it seemed to be the way everything was going. Hydrogen's come back in in about the last five years, but uh, I think what we're going to see in the short to medium term is uh, hybrid technology, electrification, uh, and fully electric. Uh, we may even see uh, some other internal combustion engine technologies and fuel sources uh, emerge. Uh, hydrogen, I think, is still a, a little ways down the road, but it hasn't, it hasn't disappeared, so it'll probably be part of the mix long term. Hydrogen fuel cell economy in Canada is truly a national job growth story. Everything from British Columbia's Ballard and Simon Fraser University through to Alberta with Luxford, through to Manitoba with New Flyer making hydrogen fuel cell buses. Into Ontario around the hydrogenics economy, several universities allied to that in, into Quebec around Trois-Rivières where there's a great deal of hydrogen innovation capacity. It is a job growth story for Canada, it's good for the economy and it happens to be great for the environment. And as people migrate to the cities, um, the adoption of zero emission uh, transit creates much more livable, um, cleaner communities. Hydrogenics has been supplying uh, fuel cells for bus applications globally for many years. Uh, we've actually started using uh, fuel cells in trains also. With Qtrix, what we're doing is leveraging the learnings that we've had globally in China, Europe, um, in the US, and bringing it here to basically move forward in a much smoother way by leveraging our experience and basically providing support we can. So within the next 10 years, Likely, YRT will not be purchasing any diesel uh, d diesel buses whatsoever. So it will be hydrogen fuel cell or it will be all electric. So we have to somehow transition from where we are currently with this older technology, and I'm saying older technology, but uh, to, to all new electric and hybrid uh, or hydrogen fuel cell technology.